The secret to the Pal Unified School District is the parents' involvement. It doesn't just start with the schools, and it doesn't just end with the schools. The parents are more active, and it's a community. Del Norte High School graduation was a little different this year because it's been affected by COVID-19. Serving that community, selling homes in the Del Sur and Forest Ranch area, I decided that I need to get involved in the community. And initially, my intention was to take some photos, observe, and create a story about what it was like to not do a traditional graduation. The last three months of their school year has been canceled, and a lot of them are not gonna be able to get that experience that maybe some of their older siblings or relatives have experienced when traditional graduations have gone on. That's when I saw the community come together and say, nope, not on our watch. Take a look at their story. March 13th, when they said, okay, we're gonna take the next week off, and then it just kind of continued, and then it was till the end of the year. There's so many firsts and lasts that they didn't get to do. Um, they didn't get to hang out with their friends. So the last day that they saw each other as a collective group was the day they walked out going, yippee, we're out of school for a week because there's this virus thing going around called COVID-19. And it just never came back together. And then it just kept one hit off the other. And this, I think, is just so tough for these kids because even though everybody's in it together, every family had different rules about, you know, are you getting together with that family or those kids? You know, some families were like, you're not getting together with anybody. You know, we're at home under lockdown. And then there were some families that, you know, their kids were getting together all the time. And it was just, you know, a strange time, I think, for everybody. But I do feel bad for them. I feel bad for everybody that is graduating this year because they've all had something that was so special taken away from them. Like you go through your whole life as a kid for this moment to do senior cut day, senior breakfast, senior horizon, um, senior awards night, senior prom, uh, grad night. There's so many firsts and lasts that they didn't get to do. When I heard about how they, the district was going to be um, celebrating the kids, you know, how their graduation was going to happen, uh, it made me sad because I've been to every graduation except for the first year because I was on the PTA, pretty active on that, and we always sold waters at the graduations. It was one of our big fundraisers. So, so this was the first year that we actually didn't have to come and work, and it kind of made me sad, because I still know kids and their parents that you know, were graduated. I raised my kids here, and then when my youngest graduated, I relocated someplace else not that far away, but this is still my community. Um, they've always supported me and my children, and I wanted to come back and support these kids who kind of got a bum situation because of COVID. I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know if it was going to be a line down the street or what was going to happen. And then my son actually told me, because I ran it by him first. I go, well, do you think it's dorky that I'm going to do this? And he, he, he said, no, I, th I think it's cool, but are you going to be the only one out there? And I said, well, right now it's just me. And this was like a week before. I go, right now it's just me. I haven't really put it out there yet. And he goes, well, I think you should get some friends. I'm friends with Judy, and I've taught 27 years in this district, 34 years total. And seeing how much it meant to each and every one of the kids at the middle school that we, we as teachers were there and parents, and I thought, you know what, I'll go cheer on cheer on the kids at Del Norte because many of the kids I know and I found out where a lot of my past students and kids that even, weren't even in my class but I know where they're going to college and it, you know it's just a neat thing to see that them being successful and moving on. You know Judy she just has the biggest heart and um, she put she put out a little text thread to us and then you know said this is what we're gonna do and I was like oh my gosh you know that's so great um, it ended up being way bigger than I imagined I kind of thought it would just be you know a few three or four of us and to see how it grew especially from the first day to the second day to the third day It was really funny because some of them were so embarrassed, especially for me, because I'm kind of, you know, that person that gets really annoying. Anyways, and they're like, they don't want to look, but then they turn the corner and they, they're embarrassed and they're smiling. I think they, it really made them feel like they were being celebrated because they thought they were going to get in a car, drive up, get out with a mask on, 
be handed their diploma with no one watching, just whoever they could fit in their car or their chase car. And I think them seeing that there were other people that came out to support them even made the um, experience for them even better, so. Like every kid who came through here was your kid. And even if you don't have a kid here, you cheered for them thinking it was your kid. And knowing what these kids have gone through for the last three months, I, every single thing that they have aspired to do in their senior year was taken away. Um, so this final hurrah of graduation, which most of the kids were like, this is gonna be really lame, turned out to really be a special time for, for everybody, for the parents, for the kids, um, for the community. As you saw, it was not just about us. It was about Judy putting together her street corner, which we all know this corner, and Judy's been living on this corner here by Del Norte for as long as the school's been around. He's your baby. He me. is my baby. My baby turns 18 today. I love my baby boy. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to go. I don't want to do the drive through graduation. He said, I think it's stupid. I want to be sitting on the football field with my friends. And he even said burning up and taking pictures on the football field with everybody. And he said, I don't want to go through any of this anymore. So we did the drive by and it was great. And all the moms were here. And and other and dads and you thank you but um, it was much better than what I think he thought it was going to be Okay, don't get me going. Yeah, like, we were oh, following. We were okay. following. Okay, but you and we were had the camera and everything. And okay. hi, Jake. Hi. Can't talk to you. Yeah. Um, we have some oh, emotional. Oh, I'm having my meltdown. Oh, that's okay. Okay, let me eat. Oh, More people came out definitely on Wednesday. More parents came out and families came out because they knew we were going to be on this corner and they came out and they stopped and took pictures and so I think when I put it on my Facebook page it kind of went bigger. I do think that the drive through graduation ended up being more spectacular than even sitting in the in the field. I really do. As a spectator, I've never been so emotional at a graduation, even when my own kids were participating. Just to see the faces on everyone and their parents and the shock and the surprise that people from the community came out and jumped up and down and made noise was really, really emotional for me and I had the best time and I'm so glad I came and did it. If I would have been wearing makeup between the sweat and the crying, I, you would have been coming out my sunglasses, but anyways, it was awesome and I'm so, like I said, I'm really glad I did it. dreading what it was going to be about like once we drove through he graduated he was done my family couldn't be here so it was just my husband my daughter my son and I so that was kind of sad it was just the four of us and we were trying to make it as exciting as we could decorated his truck you know super cool he was really happy about that but then when we drove up around this corner and I saw all my friends and people I didn't even realize were going to be here that didn't have kids here that are my friends brought just through the community that's when I really got emotional I was like wow this is this is why I love to live here. <laughs> everybody looks out for everybody. The support of the community and also their close personal friends even made them even more emotional. So, And I would have been the same way. It's like, oh my gosh, you came out of your way to stand on a corner in 90 something degree heat and jump in, around and act like a fool and embarrass yourself in front of all these people. But it wasn't about that. It was just about celebrating these kids and their accomplishments and the moms and dads because they're part of it. It really ended up being uh, just a be the better experience than I even imagined it could be. So I had fun, my son had fun, my whole family did, and so it, it brought and it brought a lot of people together, which, you know, I, I, I think, like um, I think Sharon was saying, they're gonna make some changes, which will be, you know, next year if they do have little things on the corners at, if they're in the stadium. I mean, that's, that's gonna be awesome. So the kids that came by were happy and smiling you know we had a couple shy ones but if the kids were shy the parents were like you know like woohoo woohoo and honking at us and stuff so i think um 
it, it was all in all very positive. I hope that we never have to do this again. <laughs> but being, you know, locked up for the last three months, it was also great to see some of my friends that came out because we hadn't seen each other for a long time. And to actually see some, to like, it was seemed like a, it was a normal three days of just doing what, you know, we do. Yeah. <laughs> I can speak to a lot of these women are PTA moms that are very involved in volunteering in yep. the classroom all the way up from kindergarten on all the way through high school. We're very involved in in participating with the schools and a lot of us moved here right when this is a new community and the schools were opening up and there was no books in the library and a lot of these women really worked hard to get put books in the library. Get, get the things that we needed as teachers in order to do our jobs as best as we can. And so you're, you're looking at the women that really made these schools what they are as well too, because they worked hard to, to put a lot into it. The secret to the Pali Unified School District is the parents' involvement. It doesn't just start with the schools and it doesn't just end with the schools. The parents are more active and it's a community.